with Chester, and Chester is our rescue rehab horse, and Chester has a problem standing tied. Now, this is just his first session, and every time he gets tied, he tends to pull back. So we're gonna start a very gradual process of using a blocker tie ring, and we're just gonna let him stand tied for a little bit until he pulls himself up, and then finally we're gonna get to the point where he will stand longer and longer. So that is our plan of attack, of stopping a horse from pulling back. Chester's feeling a little anxious because he can't see the other horse right now, but what I really wanna see is how well he's come up with being able to stand tied now. So we have, he is notorious for knocking back. So I'm gonna see if he'll just stand here on this tie ring without pulling back. learning how to tie has not really been his thing. So that's why we're doing this. I've got all the extra over here so he can pull it on out if he wants to, but he's eventually going to have some release. Pretty nice and calm. Now the big difference was... doing just fine when he had his buddy over there and he stood but as you can see this would definitely be a problem so we're just going to keep doing this he's going to get his own release and he's going to realize that he's just going to have to come back here and do this again I'm going to try to get him to step forward and not pull this time Sasha That's better. That's a whole lot better. Good boy. Good. There you go. Easy. You didn't pull nearly as far that time. It's okay. It just kind of depended on where he was at. He's going to hit that in just a second. See how he reacts. Easy, fella. Easy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. When he's standing, I'm going to be good to him. Let him know that as long as he's given to that pressure, I'm going to love on him. But I, if he starts to, but I want him to go forward. So I'm going to go. I want to take a step forward. Good. And I'll release him. So he releases himself. Nice and light. There you go. Good boy. That was a little tighter than he normally has. There we go. I want to increase. I want him to step out of that. So that time, he stood tied really nicely for me. I'm going to let him go. the pressure. We're not making him. That was something that he deserved to be rewarded from. So he got rewarded for that. Mm. I'm going to go back again. As you can see, we've changed his demeanor. He's a whole lot nicer than he was. Good boy. Good boy. He didn't let his anxiety play him too hard. So I'm going to give him the release. I'll take him off the tie ring. He stood there. 
I just want a little bit. I want him to know that he can stand here too and it's not going to hurt him. So this time we're going to go straight back to it. There you go. Tie him nice and loose. Rock the siren. There you go, good bud. Let me see if I can move him over a little bit. All right. I'm going to ask him to move his hindquarters. Move your hindquarters. There we go. And release. Good. I want to try to get him on that grooming pad. I want to move his four quarters. There you go. Good. Ooh. Let's see if we can get him to stand here. Ooh, you're being a good boy. You're being a good boy. Ooh. Let's go back. Ah, he almost hit it there. But he came forward on his own. He's already starting to learn that it's going to release if he hits that pressure point. But I want him to move back over there. So come on. Move his shoulders. And move his hindquarters. Ready? Press and release. Press and release. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's really good. He's standing there now where I want him to stand. Good boy. Instead of pulling back. There we go. So we're going to repeat this process over and over again until I can completely trust him standing tight. Like right now, he wanted to move out of the way, but I want him to move back over there. So I'm going to ask him to move sideways. Come on. So he's going to relieve that pressure sideways. All right. As you can see, we're back to the drawing board on this. Back up. Can you come forward? Release as soon as he gives me a step. Ready? Release as soon as he gives me a step. There we go. I'm using that little clicking sound as being his cue that I want him to step forward. And as soon as he gives me that step, I quit pulling on him. He is learning that I will release him from pressure. I'm not going to make him do it. Now, he may stand back over here again. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Let's move him back over so we can get him on the dribble pad. Go back. It's okay. He's not pulling back nearly as bad as he was. He's getting his release. And he's not pulling all the way through the road. Anxiety. He's worried about his buddy over there. Ooh. Ooh. Now I don't want him to step on his own leg. They're calling back and forth to each other. And that's not necessarily the best thing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I want him to move over. Come on. There we go. That was the best one yet. That wasn't so bad. He didn't hardly pull on that one at all. Walk forward. Walk forward. There we go. Walk forward. Good boy. He gets his own release. He stands there. All right, we're going to do it again. Easy. never know with rescues what they've been through or any of this, but you just got to be extra patient with them. Come on. And he is, nope. Right now he's just kind of agitated. Come on. Because he can't see his friend. Come on. Come on. There we go. So here we go. He's at least standing. He's standing. He's standing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He did what I wanted him to do, which was stand there and stand there tied. 
pressure and release. He's releasing himself. Now we're gonna have to repeat this process and he may never be really good as being hard tied. We may always use a blocker tie ring on him and that's okay. <laughs> but he is getting used to the idea of standing and he does has, have his own release of pressure and this is something that we can take care of. It's just gonna take repeated sessions doing this. So much for joining me in today's video and if you enjoyed the video please give us a like and if you haven't already please subscribe we have lots more content coming up we're going to be putting out new stuff every week so please subscribe and hit that little notification thing and if not check out our playlist